exactly the first time I did graffiti. I'd watched um, the Buffalo Girls video the night before, on the Thursday night, on uh, Top of the Pops. On Friday, we went to school talking about graffiti. On Saturday, me and my friends and my brother went and first loaded spray cans and went and did paintings. I did a piece that said break, 1984. There's been so many good ones, you know, for all different reasons. There's been things that have been really simple, but amazing. And then there's been other things that have been so out of control, excuse me, that you just think that's ridiculous. That situation should never have happened. But because you come out of it unscathed, it's amazing as well. So, you know, there's things where you've been really creative and you sort of think, yeah, that's a really positive, amazing thing, you know. And then there's other things that you just think from a rude boy graffiti point of view, that was amazing. I think it's really I think it's a really positive thing and I think whoever okayed it has, has used real forward thinking because if you think about it, if you hired a painting and decorating company to come and paint that, the price might not be very different, but the result will be very different. And also, you're going to create something that make people discuss whether they like or dislike, so it creates communication, you know, so it's a positive from that point of view. And also, you can end up with a massive mural on the side of the building. If I say one thing that, that makes someone think, oh, you know, actually, I might have a go at that, or I might do this, it, it, it just, it's just a positive thing, you know. And, and even though graffiti is viewed as negative, I think there's absolutely overwhelming positives that come from it. You know? conduit flows through me. <laughs> if you believe that, you believe anything, anyone can do it. All you just got to do is just be, uh, just have the, the, you know, stick at it, do it. <laughs> <laughs>